Yes, I do have a lot of banana boxes. When you've moved as much as I have, they're worth their weight in gold. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my garage. Uh, this is kind of a special edition uh, because I am in the middle of finally finishing this project that's taken me about a year and a half to do. So I am going to do the video out here today. Some of you might also be asking, why is uh, the shop update coming out of Thursday as opposed to the regular Tuesday? Uh, and that's because um, we had a video with uh, Johnny Brook and Zach Herberholz. The three of us did a collaboration on Tuesday. And this was making a Live Edge waterfall coffee table. It was a lot of fun. I made a dovetail drawer that went underneath. Uh, it was kind of a, an interesting learning experience making slides out of a sliding dovetail. So that was a really cool video uh, that came out on Tuesday. Speaking of the coffee table, I occasionally get someone asking me, you know, can I buy something that you make? And honestly, I, I, there isn't much that I make that can be sold, uh, just for, for financial reasons. Uh, but the video I did with uh, Zach Herbholst and uh, Johnny Brook, um, we we're actually going to be selling that coffee table. And so that is currently live on eBay. Um, if you'd like to uh, put a bid on that, we're actually throwing a large chunk of that to charity. So if you'd like to uh, see that, I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, other videos that came out this last week, number one, I did um, episode number eight on the dresser, and that was making the top. I'm doing some carving and other things in that. Really happy with how that video came out. Uh, the finish on it is fantastic, and uh, yeah. <laughs> the third video of the week was actually doing a video on first hand tools. Um, if you're wanting to get into woodworking, what are the tools you should buy? What are the tools you should be looking at? And that was an interesting one to do. A lot of people have different lists and different things they want to put on there, and it was a, a very good video for um, just general information. So if you want to see that, you can see the link up over here. This next week on Saturday, I'm going to be doing the video on putting the hardware on the dresser um, and some of the final touches and the, the corbels that are on the, the top of the dresser and the, the handles and stops and other things that are just kind of those little things that have to be done at the end that you kind of rush through and you want to just get to finishing. <laughs> So hopefully that video will be coming out Saturday. Um, then next week, I'm actually going to be doing the, the final video on finishing. And the second video next week will be having in the room and actually doing a walk around and showing you what is up with the dresser, what is uh, what the final project is. So uh, next week should be a very fun one. Also upcoming this week, tomorrow at noon, that will be uh, Friday, at noon central time, I'm going to be doing another live Q&A, and this should be a fun one. If you have any questions you'd like added to the list, and I can hit those first, uh, let me know and put them in the comments below. But yeah, at noon tomorrow, sign on here, and we will have another live Q&A. There are a few events coming up this summer where I'm going to be doing a meetup and other woodworkers are getting together. Uh, number one uh, is Handworks, and this is, this is like just hand tools. Um, and a really, really cool opportunity. It's in Iowa, and it will be in May, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's a, just a two-day event where people can get together and talk hand tools and basically nothing more. And uh, yeah, so if you want to see me or come to that, I'll leave a link in the description below to that. The second thing is the woodworking event put on by Video uh, Woodworkers. This is going to be in Oklahoma on uh, late uh, in late June. Um, I want to say the 23rd, somewhere around there. And that is going to be an absolute blast. We're taking over a field that has electricity, and there's a bunch of us who are going to be setting up booths and making things. And so it's going to be a large collaboration where we're all um, building things together. I'm taking my workbench out there and a bunch of my tools. Um, Crafted Podcast is going to be there, and it's just going to be an all-around awesome time. So if you are anywhere near, or even if you're not, I'm, I'm driving 12 hours for it. So um, I'd love to see you there. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. I do want to say another huge thank you to patrons on Patreon. Um, it blowing me away, but we're getting close to the next goal on Patreon, and this should be uh, kind of cool. Uh, this goal I'm actually going to be doing once a month. I'm going to be making uh, one project or one small video that is only available to people on Patreon. Uh, so if you want to be included in that, all you have to do is be a patron on Patreon. So I'm looking forward to that, and if you'd like to find out more, I'll leave a link to Patreon down below. 
I do have a viewer project for this week. Brad Connect sent this picture in of a torch holder for his church. A really cool job. And it's the first time he ever did uh, V-tool carving. And I really think it's a cool job. And V-tool carving is actually something that just about anyone can do very quickly, very easily. Um, if you can follow a line with a pencil, uh, you can do it with a, with a carving tool. And it's a project that I think a lot of people would be very surprised at how easily they can pick it up. So I want to say, um, cool work, Brad. I love what you did, and I'm looking forward to your next project. So that's about it for this week. I'm having a lot of fun here, and I'm looking forward to getting this dresser into the house and into the bedroom and full of clothes. So this is going to be a lot of fun, interesting things coming up, and I am really looking forward to it. If you like this video, please hit like and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. If you'd like to help out with that and get us to the next goal, you can find out more at the link right over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.